From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us on this Friday. I'm Marcy Jones. Let's take a look at your top stories today. We're tracking breaking news this morning. We're working to learn what caused a fire at a home in Enfield. We know it happened earlier this morning on George Washington Road. Officials say five people were able to get out safely, but are now displaced. As soon as we get any more information, we'll bring it to you both on air and on our WFSB app. While well, the defense team in the trial involving Trooper Brian North will begin their case today. North is on trial for manslaughter after the shooting death of Mubarak Solomon four years ago. The defense claims North believed his safety as well as those fellow officers he was with were threatened and that's why he fired the gun. Solomon was shot seven times. Well, the lawyer for Michelle Traconis has filed for a new trial and acquittal. Last week, Traconis was found guilty by a jury on all six counts involving the death of Jennifer Farber Dulos. A judge's decision on the motions could come within the next week or so. Michelle Traconis' sentencing is set for May 31st. She is currently being held on a $6 million bond. And right now, police in both Connecticut and Massachusetts need your help tracking down a man they say killed a child and her mother who spent four years in the Connecticut Army National Guard. They say Jazan Belnavis was involved in the murder of a mother and daughter in Massachusetts earlier this week. 27-year-old Chastity Nunez and her 11-year-old daughter Zella were sitting in their car when two men opened fire, killing them both. Detectives found the alleged getaway car in Hartford where Balnavis reportedly has family. The other suspect has been arrested. Happening today, a former school employee in stores and Columbia accused of sexual assault will be back in court. Police say Allison Cranick had a sexual relationship with an 11-year-old boy for two months. After she was bailed out for that case, police say she was caught messaging a 13-year-old girl on Snapchat. This landed Cranick back in jail and she has not yet been released. The issue facing our nation isn't how old we are, it's how old are our ideas. President Biden tackling concerns over his age during his State of the Union address. This morning, he'll be back on the campaign trail after making his pitch to voters across the nation. Biden vowed to take action on reproductive rights, the economy, and immigration. On the topic of Israel's war with Hamas, Biden announced he's directing the military to build a temporary port in Gaza to allow more food, water, and medicine supplies to enter the Strip. Well, today in Berlin, the State Department of Transportation will announce a massive expansion of bus services to central Connecticut. Starting this Sunday, new bus routes will be added in Berlin, as well as New Britain, Meriden, Plainville, and Southington. The agency's announcement will take place at 9.30 this morning. Also happening today at the state capitol, UConn top dog Jonathan will testify in support of a new bill. The proposal would name the Siberian Husky as the Connecticut state dog. Jonathan will appear virtually with his handlers in support of the bill during a committee meeting at 1030 this morning. UConn has used Husky dogs as its mascot for more than 90 years. Let's go to our mascot, Scott Haney. <laughs> I'm not as cute as that Jonathan, though. He's adorable. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right, first alert for Saturday night through Sunday morning. Not today, Friday. It's beautiful. But another round of rain is knocking on our door. Thank you. Come in. <laughs> it's delayed. It's Friday. It's delayed. You know what? It's okay. An additional uh, half an inch to an inch and a half plus of rain on the way for tomorrow night through Sunday morning. The good news is the timing. Uh, it's going to come at night Saturday through Sunday morning, so the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Hartford should get off without a hitch, and the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New Haven on Sunday should get off without a hitch. As we take a look at our first alert live radar, we are scanning dry, visibility at a perfect 10, and our satellite and radar confirms there is nothing going on but the rent. And remember, you got to have J-O-B if you want to be with me. All right, as we take you out and widen out the shot, we're looking at some really fantastic weather today, but here comes trouble. You can see the storm system. It's already gaining strength and moving up on us, and it will be here by tomorrow evening through Sunday morning. So you can see it as plain as day. You can also see the Sleeping Giant State Park as plain as day. This is some great visibility this morning with a 40-degree temperature. A little bit of a breeze out there does make the temperatures feel a little bit cooler, but we've got golden sunshine for you right now in Hartford. 38 with a breeze out of the north at 8, so it does make it feel a little bit cooler. Let's get to the wind chills. Here are the temperatures, right? Not bad. 
25 typical overnight low. We're in the mid to upper 30s, 40 in New Haven and Bridgeport. That's about 15 above average. And even though we're down from yesterday, it's not a horrible day, a uh, horrible start out there. It is a little bit cooler, 10 to 14 degrees cooler. And there is a bit of a breeze to 13 right now in Waterbury. But not a lot of wind gusts. They have subsided, which is good news. But that little bit of a breeze does make the wind chill feel a little bit cooler. Like it's 27 in Salisbury, Torrington 27, 28 at Bradley and in Waterbury. And then everybody else is pretty much in the low 30s. Let's take a look at First Alert Futurecast. It's tomorrow's weather today. Hour by hour depiction of, uh, yeah, a couple of clouds around this afternoon. Not a big deal. Tonight we're clear early and then the clouds roll in by midnight. This is midnight, mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow's kind of a, a cool, raw day with temperatures in the mid 40s. All right. But you'll notice at 9 a.m., everybody's getting ready for the parade. And then 11 to 12, it's just mostly cloudy with a wind out of the southeast. So that's not favorable. And then 5 o'clock, it's still dry in the greater Hartford area. But it is raining in parts of northwest and southwest Connecticut. And that rain advances across the state by 7 p.m. By 9 p.m., it is pouring. And 11 o'clock, it is really coming down Saturday night into Sunday morning. Okay. Daytime highs today in the mid 50s. A beautiful day of weather. Get out there and enjoy it. Play some golf. Uh, Saturday, rain at night. A first alert for that time period into Sunday morning. It'll be breezy on Sunday. Monday, mostly cloudy and cool. And then the temperatures start moderating up to 62 degrees by Thursday. That's some pretty remarkable weather coming up for next week. So get out there and enjoy. There are your shoreline highs, pretty equivalent to where we're headed inland. All right, Marcy, let's check your first alert forecast. We'll send it back to you. Thanks so much, Scott. And thank you for tuning in to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get more news and weather updates anytime on the WFSB app. Have a great day.